daughter of hatred. Creator of sanctuary. Hail. I've been a Diablo fan since the original D2 day and play every mainstream game ever since. The following footage is during the first month of Diablo 4. I don't feel like reinstalling it again to get new footage and I'm gonna explain it in this video. Remember this is a review up to until season 3. Let's cut to the chase. D4, the good, the bad and the ugly. So let's talk about the good. The game isn't as bad as most people said. We asked for a darker Diablo 4 as opposed to the cartoony Diablo 3 and Blizzard delivers. The graphic is top notch and fighting animation is smooth. What I like about Diablo series is that at a certain point of the game, you'll unlock a CGI cutscene which is satisfying to say the least. I wish there were more. I'm not gonna spoil the whole story. Well you're gonna get a cliffhanger at the end. The game is very easy to pick up for new players and I think that's what they're aiming for. We're gonna talk about that later. A few inches later. Alright, this is the later part, the bad. Since they're aiming for new players, they forgot about us Diablo longtime fans. The game mechanic was too easy and there were some bugs during launch like rubber banding and I can't get to a new area. They fix most of the bug during the lifespan of the game. The skill tree is to be desire, it's plain, it's too plain. Give us some credit Blizzard. We gamers are not that stupid. You don't have to make it so plain and unintuitive. There's not a lot of choices for skill path because most of skill is not even worth invested in. But wait, there's more. The new element is that Blizzard brings war boss to this game and players can work together to defeat it. However, it's a time event things and I can't remember how many times I missed it and then completely ignoring it. The war boss timing is the worst than uh, any MMO game I play in recent memory. Of course, this is not an MMO. Well, weird timing and not very rewarding as well. It's uh, not an MMO, but it has the element of it. Questing and dungeon is also boring once you've done it enough. Get this, do that, and lots of backtracking with no enemies uh, left on screen. Those quests that uh, you have to kill all enemy in the dungeon, sometimes you have to backtrack until you find a single monster in a corner somewhere and that's too much time consuming. But I think they uh, fixed that. Uh, Diablo 2 have this sort of quest but I don't remember dreading so much through it. Uh, Blizzard did address this problem but little too late. It's a live service game unlike the previous Diablo game, which means at any point in time they can take away your game with little to no repercussion. If you don't have it in your hand, you don't own it. We see this so many times when studio went under or other shenanigans going on. So it's very important that we continue to demand physical copy and offline mode, which is a rarity these days. The Ugly these are the reasons why I quit Diablo 4 after the first month. I am one of the sucker who bought the early access and was too busy in the early access day that I had to skip it. 
$87 lesson learned and I'm never buying early access again. I also pay early access for Blizzard WoW Dragonfly, $120 down the drain when they decided to cancel the launch date. So kids, never buy early access for anything Blizzard. Uh, let's get back to D4. The inventory situation is ugly, very ugly. They only give us like 5 or 6 small tab with up to like 10 character slot I believe. I had to use 8 of those slots to store my item. Like uh, many fools, I was begging Blizzard to implement more inventory tab. Even now, uh, reaching season 4, no noticeable change. Heck. I even at the moment willing to pay for inventory tab like I do in Lost Ark, but they couldn't even do that. So I had to spend hours every time to play the game to look uh, through what item I want to keep and store. Speaking of item, the worst itemization in Diablo game or any ARPG game I've played so far. Too many useless affixes that you spend hours staring at and eventually just give up on life and moved on. I'm not uh, gonna even touch on that as it could take hours to break down uh, all of it. Also the crafting is just garbage. You can only uh, change one affixes of a certain item and it costs so much that you too will just uh, give up on it. One of the elements of this game is that monster will scale to your level. This is a sign of lacking end game content. I never really felt strong leveling ever and that's not a good sign in an ARPG game like this. Speaking of end game, what end game? There's nothing to do in this game than just running hell tie after you finish the story quest. There's no target farming like in previous Diablo game. Boss fight is unrewarding and lack thereof. Would all the problem this game have, you think Blizzard would uh, work faster to address it? No, here's your $70 mount after tax. Yeah, I'm not kidding, they spent all this time making microtransaction cosmetic mount then to improve the game, where well, 3 seasons in and not much have changed. You know uh, what sent me to the edge and quit playing after the first month of Diablo 4? It's the uber drop rate. Yes, the chances of getting one of these items to drop is worse than getting hit by lightning in real life multiple times. No, I'm not playing a game for 10 plus years just to get a single item drop. I'm sure there's more thing I haven't mentioned, so I'd like to know what you think about this whole Diablo 4 situation. Having said all that, do I think this game worth $70 at launch? Yes it does, I played for around 100 hours and uh, enjoyed the storyline. However, I wish there were more things to do. There's just no incentive for me to go back. There's just so much better game out there like The Last Epoch, which I'm gonna do a review of. Also, you're gonna get a Path of uh, Exile 2 later this year, hopefully. Uh, Time Quest 2, maybe, and maybe other game I haven't mentioned. All of which will do better than Diablo 4, in my opinion. The future is brighter and with smaller studio. I'm kinda lost faith in Blizzard at the moment. They've forgotten what makes them who they are today and go on the path of profit and nothing else. My final score for Diablo 4 is a 5 out of 10. You get what you pay for, but nothing else. Not even an extra peanut. Just buy Last Epoch. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. This is John, signing out.